We will. We will take a look at this. It is actually hopeless. You will never get a job you're looking for. You haven't found your passion. Your computer science degree is worthless. There's a chance if you put out a thousand applications per cycle, maybe. Get used to working low paying jobs, getting zero responses or feedback from your employers on your portfolio slash prospects. By the way, the longer you go without work experience, the lower your chances of finding a job get. I don't buy any of this so far. Meanwhile, the job market is becoming more and more inhospitable. It is hopeless. You are wasting your time. All right, I'm gonna give you a couple things. One, I'm gonna give you a little piece of advice. TJ, unemployed take coming. TJ, your take is unemployed too. Shut up, TJ. Um, so one, building a pretty React portfolio, nobody cares, okay? If you have a really pretty website and you're like, look at what I've made. Like people aren't, they just they just aren't gonna care. Like you're not, that's not how you, you win things. There you go. Make something challenging. Make something amazing. Make Take some time to actually build something that you enjoy and do. You know, like, sure, send out all the applications you want. Build your nice little pretty portfolio site, okay? Just have it so nice with its blues and its oranges and, and whatever the other colors you throw in there. But at the end of the day, you still can't just simply, that's just, that's just not going to make you stand out in any sort of way. The only way you can really stand out is actually doing something you enjoy, right? Doing something that gets you excited, doing something that makes you see it through to the end, right? And if you find yourself always asking, but okay, then what should I build? It's just like that is the fundamental problem right there. You're uninterested. You've only ever looked at things as just a pure means to an end. You never took a moment to just look around for a second, go, wait a second, wait a second. What's this about? You've had zero appreciation of the, uh, of, of the path and purely just looking at it as a means to an end, which is fine. You can totally like, I mean, at the end of the day, you don't have to love programming. There's nothing in there that says you don't have to love programming. It's going to affect how you look at things, how you approach Welcome problems, how, how far you go, you. how much you're going to be able to do. Absolutely. But you don't have to do that. But you still have to have some level of curiosity. Love doesn't pay rent. Sure, love does not pay rent, but love can certainly cause something that makes it pay rent, right? Like it's it's very important. People say this phrase as if it's as if it's an unimportant ingredient. Love can actually pay rent. Well, that's you're 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 swapping the different word. That's eros that you're talking about, and that's not. Uh, it's a little different there. Um, that's a very old profession, and that that has paid rent. Um, but anyways, so it's just like take like it's not just simply about building a portfolio. If you think building like Next.js Vercel with clerk sign in means you've you've you're ready, you're not ready. You're not ready. You're not there. Okay, you got a little bit more time. Okay, you got a little bit more time. So maybe invest in your skills. Maybe invest in building something that's a little bit more difficult. Uh, also. Anytime there's a local meetup, anytime there's anything you can do to meet up with people, do it. Okay, this is a, this is called this is called social networking. I know networking is a really important part of things, and if you get to learn who people are and and you talk to them, often you can get a job just by knowing people. I know, I know this might sound crazy, but you can you can do that. Talking to humans, yeah. Touching grass, yeah, yeah. Touching grass, hauling ass, and touching grass. Okay. I would definitely recommend knowing people. You will, you will get more jobs by knowing pe people. Nepotism exists like everywhere. Yes. You know why? You know why? It's not crazy. Okay. Would you want to make a bunch of bets on people you've never met or that one person that keeps going to uh, the same event that you go to and you're like, oh, hey, this person, I like you. You should go. We have an open spot. Come work with us. Meetups are cheat codes. Of course they are. Like you got to look around, right? It's just, it, it makes perfect sense, right? Like why spend countless hours searching for someone when you have the person you already like right in front of you, right? Yeah, it's just called security. It's called good betting, right? But but real talk, like you got to do something. Find something that interests you about the process of getting your portfolio up and go and do that, right? Every single time something interests you, go and invest in that. Go look and, you know, you have to take that time. You just have to. And at some point, you're going to find something you want to build. And when you find something you want to build, you build it. You build it well, and you put it out there, and you do all that, and it's exciting. Is the job market in the U.S. really that terrible? I don't think it's this terrible. I think people think it's this terrible, but I think a lot of people, we have a, if, if Uncle Bob Martin, if, if what he said was actually correct, which I don't know if it's actually correct. I didn't challenge him on it because it's just like I never, you know, 
it's annoying trying to challenge people on uh, statistics. Whenever someone says just some random statistic, you know, it's just like, what, what, what am I going to say? Like, Welcome yeah, Costco. well, you know what? I think I you're wrong. You. And then it just turns into a, I think you're wrong festival. So we're not going to do that. All right, hold on. When Uncle Bob was on the, uh, on the show last week, he said the following, that every five years, effectively, the, the, the amount of new candidates doubles, right? So that means if you take all the people, you pretty much have this many new people in, right? You like within five years, it's almost all exclusively half of it's new people. And so now there's like a slowdown, which means that the chunk of unemployed are just are growing like really, really fast. You can no longer just get employed as easily. And so I think this is just causing this huge kind of like wave of this because you know what? If you went on Twitter and you read Twitter, you would honestly think, all you have to do is take React, build a, like a cool site, and boom, you're hired, right? That I mean, this is like what tech Twitter has told you you need to do. And you're finding out that's just not true. It's not that true. Not that easy. It's not going to be that easy. When I was younger, it wasn't that easy, right? Building a nice looking website was cool, but people weren't like, they weren't all that, imp- they weren't all that like impressed with it, right? You need to do something a little bit more. Also, real talk, you're looking for a job, go learn Java. Literally infinity jobs there. Oh, you want you or, or C sharp? Tons of job there. Uh, there's this whole thing called mobile, in which is a vastly underserved market. React Native, jo- uh, Kotlin, these nuts. I mean, there's plenty of stuff in that whole. Re- like, you don't have like the web is not everything in the universe. There's an entire embedded world. C slash Rust slash Zig probably has a lot of life inside of the embedded world. Like, you don't just simply have to. It, it, like, you don't have to live inside of this just like little bubble. You know what I mean? There's an entire data science area. That's just like Python. Python all the days. You think someone that knows C really well and Python really well isn't pretty employable? If you know infra and those two things together, like you like that's a pretty valuable skill set. You can go fast, you can go smooth, you can make the Python things fast, plus you know all that other stuff. All the data scientists and all the uh, uh, AI engineers are gonna just gonna love your ass, right? So there's, there's a lot, there's like a whole bunch that's available. That's just not like you don't, the web is not the end all, right? It's not going to be an end all. How hard is it to get hired without a degree these days? I can't answer that question because that is a very um, locale specific problem, right? There you go. There you go. Okay. It's not just the web. Like Welcome JavaScript isn't the only thing I that exists. You.